Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is your weekly horoscope going from Monday the 26th of June through until Sunday the 2nd of July. And my horoscopes are based on UK time. Now, I've had a look at this week and it's pretty complicated. I'm going to give you a day-by-day -day rundown of this week so you can know what this energy is about and what you'll be working with. It's not going to be the easiest of weeks. Monday the 26th of June, we've got Mars in Cancer. Mars is the archetypal male principle. It's what I want, okay? And that is in Cancer, which Mars is not particularly happy sitting in Cancer. Cancer is focused on the domestic. It's about being self-sacrificing, caring about other people. And Mars really doesn't get on very well with that. So immediately we've got a conflict there. Mars then trines Neptune in Pisces. Neptune is the water planet of dreams and aspirations. In Pisces, it's even more water and imagination. So Mars is really kind of under pressure here and is going to feel cornered almost. We've also got a Leo moon sextiling Jupiter, the lucky planet, which is in Libra, and it forms a relationship with Neptune in Pisces as well. So on Monday, the 26th of June, there's really a possible sense of frustration with a uh, lack of movement, with things not happening the way you would like them to appear, the way you visualize them, the way you've manifested them, why are they not appearing the way you would like them to be. There's a sense of frustration around that. You've planned certain things, you've put things in place and you've, you've um, made sure that things look a certain way and that's not happening causing you to be frustrated. If you have a daily spiritual practice, make sure that you use this on this day. If it's something that um, allows you to connect with a higher power and that then allows you to um, become more self-disciplined, that's something that's going to be useful because on Monday not everything is going to go your way and it's about how you react and deal with those kind of situations. The best thing to do on Monday is to spend time with friends and to make some time to socialize because that's where you're going to have the most positive experiences here on Monday. Now on Tuesday the 27th of June we have Mercury the communication planet in Cancer and that as well it's not as uncomfortable as Mars being in, in Cancer but Mercury is the communication planet and when that's in Cancer it tends to you tend to wear your heart on your sleeve a little bit more and you tend to communicate in a much more emotional way than you usually would and and vice versa with other people this Mercury then trines Neptune the water planet in Pisces and the Leo moon trines Saturn in Sagittarius and Mercury in Cancer squares Jupiter in Libra. So on this day, Tuesday the 27th, watch out for wishful thinking. You will dream big and you may be a little bit puzzled and perplexed why your manifestations aren't being realized. You may have imagined things to be a certain way and again, things just aren't appearing and it's a sense of almost something is amiss here, something is wrong, I feel irritated, things aren't clicking into place, something is just off. On this day, on Tuesday, you'll also have the desire to share your deepest, darkest secrets with another person. Please don't do that. If you absolutely have to, then share it with someone who, you, who can keep a secret. But if you have a real skeleton in the closet, um, it's not really the best day to share it with someone because your discernment in terms of can I trust this person isn't going to be that spot on. You're, like I said, you will wear your heart on your sleeve and make sure that you don't you know, tell your whole life story to someone that you who you barely know because it can come back and it can... Yeah, it's no longer a secret anymore and then you'll have to deal with it once it's out in public. And if it's a, it's a secret that you've kept secret for a reason, then make sure you don't blow it on this day just because you feel like it on a whim and make a decision that can have a huge impact on your life. On Wednesday, the 28th of June, we've got the moon going into Virgo at 
42 minutes past midnight and Mercury is still in Cancer, it conjuncts Mars in Cancer now. So both of these planets in Cancer, the Virgo moon sextiles the Sun in Cancer. So everything is in Cancer. And on Wednesday, if something is bothering you, things have been building up this week, okay? Things haven't been going right Monday and Tuesday. Something's been a little bit off. By, by the time Wednesday rolls around, if something doesn't go your way, you could become so enraged that you burn a bridge forever by telling someone how you really feel. It's kind of like the tower in the tarot. If something or someone uh, irritates you, there's the potential for you to snap and to say, I have had it with this, and for you to really, uh, to, to really speak out. And I've, I've, I've spoken about this um, a few times. When, you, um, when you're really angry or resentful towards another person or another, um, or a business or whatever, um, it ties you to them. It's kind of like a negative cord that forms between you and that other, um, that other party. It's, it's not that kind of expression of negativity. It doesn't clear the air and everyone's happy and everyone's like, oh, now we can get on with it. It just cements the negativity. Okay. So what I'm saying is that you talking about this, you sharing how you really feel isn't going to cause any, um, it's not going to make any changes to the person you're telling this to. So all it does is you are enraged, you burn a bridge, and really you upset yourself with no real benefit. So on Wednesday is a day to, again, really be self-disciplined and to be careful and take care of yourself very well. And if something bothers you, that you kind of soothe your own inner child rather than telling yourself stories which make it even worse. On Thursday the 29th of June we have the Moon in Virgo sextiling Mars in Cancer and Mercury in Cancer. Mercury in Cancer opposes Pluto in Capricorn. So Thursday here similar, is similar to Wednesday. There's the potential for um, a huge kind of inner frustration coming out and being expressed. And you also have um, a laser beam focus here on the things that you do like, that you dislike, and you can really start something in earnest today or end something completely. It's again the tower in the tarot. So for instance, let's say you work at a hotel and um, you're the manager and you've told the staff how you want things done and it's not been done, it's not been done. Uh, you completely flip and you completely lose your rag on Wednesday or Thursday and you scream at people um, and yeah, you really scream at them for not doing their job. It creates an atmosphere of fear. Uh, you feel bad about it. You feel probably embarrassed that you lost your rag completely. Some of the people who work for you will lose respect for you that you can't control yourself. Certainly some, some people might change. Some people might say, the boss is really angry, let's do something about it. But that's not the way to live your life. You can't just blow up every time something um, displeases you. It, it drains your energy and also it's much better to try and come to a re resolution together. Okay, so Thursday again, exercise self-control. The other way, the other way I meant this was to to end something completely. So to burn a bridge. So if it's with a with another person who's irritated your business, to just say, I will never come here again. But it's also the opportunity to start something fresh. You know, once something has blown up and has ended, then you've got to go somewhere else. You've got to do something else. So a new link will be formed. You could create your own business or you could decide to do this in your own way. That's less frustrating for other people. So these two days, they seem very negative in the sense that you're irritable and that you could blow up. But sometimes we need to be irritable and, and um, blow up to make changes. 
and to say, I really dislike this situation, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to find another job that I actually like. So sometimes this kind of anger is very important in uh, getting us to move forward. Remember, at the beginning of the week, there was a sense of frustration that nothing is moving and nothing is going on. So what you do is you you inject a lot of drama into this week just to get something to occur. And if something does then happen, then it's a big problem. And it's not something that's going to get rid of your frustration. If anything, it'll frustrate you even more. Now, Friday, the 30th of June, uh, the moon moves into Libra. So that's really good news because the moon in Libra is much more about compromise and being considerate. And this moon squares the sun in Cancer. So for Friday the 30th, I've written here, Hallelujah, because your th this this irritability, this this just grumpiness, this being in a bad mood and really being angry, is that starts to fade away, and you're much more content within yourself. You give yourself and others permission to relax and to have a good time. On Saturday, the 1st of July, Chiron goes retrograde. Chiron is an asteroid. It's in, in the astrology, it's known as the wounded healer, and it's one of the centaurs. And in a chart, it represents the thing, the part of the chart that's most difficult until you transform it so that it becomes a great strength. And on this day, Chiron goes retrograde, so it appears to be going backwards, and it stays in retrograde until the 5th of December this year. So, Chiron is the wounded healer. He asks us, or it asks us, to transform painful things within ourselves into strengths. Into strengths. Whenever it's re in retrograde, the potential for self-healing and becoming whole again are heightened even more. You, you, you're able to look at the, the wound or the thing that's unhealed much more clearly, and you can go there and you can heal whatever needs healing. So if it's public speaking or if it's um, if it's whatever the fears are, if it's, you know, showing up at the beach in your bikini or if it's um, sharing sharing the truth about your sexuality, whatever it is that's frightening and scary and that is unhealed with this retrograde, it becomes much easier to heal certain parts of yourself. The human condition is that we're all unhealed in certain ways anyway. That's, what, that's why we're here, because we're trying to progress spiritually, we're trying to, to advance spiritually, and we all have things that we need to heal. So this is really an opportunity, and not just on this day when it goes retrograde, but now until the end of the year, we really have the opportunity to heal pains that may have come up in the last few days here with this week, but also in the last few months of 2017. For a lot of people, things haven't worked out the way they thought they would work out. And it's a good, it's a good opportunity to now, it's almost taking like a half year inventory stock take and saying, okay, this is where we are now, halfway through 2017. What are we going to heal in the rest of the year? And what is it that we also want to implement and start and, 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 and begin once things are healed? So you can really make progress through this self-healing pro process. On Sunday, the 2nd of July, the moon moves into Scorpio at 5 in the afternoon. And Mars in Cancer opposes Pluto and Capricorn. Mercury in Cancer, Quincuxes, Saturn in Sagittarius. So this is a throwback to Wednesday and Thursday where you were frustrated and your way of expressing your frustrations could burn bridges entirely. So again, watch it on Sunday the 2nd. Um, you know, this is frustration at, at its most. If you're in a marriage that... Um, you're not happy in, but you want to keep the marriage in place for whatever reason, then you really have to watch out for what you're saying this week because there's a potential for you to burn that bridge completely. Um, 
it's also an opportunity if you are, I mean, the same thing, it depends on where you are. If you are in a marriage that is unhappy, for instance, and you do want to end it, but you haven't found the strength up until now to end it, this week you can end it like that. Because there is such a desire to just, to just blurt out everything that you despise about another person. And it's a really difficult week in that sense. So things that you want to end, relationships that you want to destroy for whatever reason. Some relationships should end. You know, if there are people in your life who take advantage of you or you're in a group of people, you're friends with a group of people who are only together because of a, um, a, a common interest, but it's a really toxic environment and you can't get out of it. This is your week to tell that group of people I, you know, what you really think and then to be able to leave that situation. And nature doesn't like a vacuum. If you make space, then it will be filled with something. Make sure you connect with spirits and keep that spiritual practice going, especially this week, because the more bridges you burn and the more negative stuff you get rid of, the more positive things you can um, bring into your life. Um, actually, this is, um, I've been feeling this energy already quite strongly um, last week. And um, I just want to tell you um, the story about what happened here. I, I had computer problems. I, I had, um, uh, my computer just died on me. So I took it in, I had it repaired and I paid a bunch of money to have it repaired. And then two days later it broke down again and I got to, um, I went back to the store and I, I, I saw a sign at the door which says, oh, we're away for, um, so I read two weeks. I went back later and checked it wasn't two weeks. But um, I read that and I just thought, well, I have no computer. I won't be able to do my work. And I completely saw red and I got so angry and I completely burnt my bridge with that computer shop. <laughs> because... Um, doesn't matter, you know, it could have, they could have done things better, I could have done things better, but certainly in terms of my, um, my feelings, I was really angry and I, I expressed that anger. I, I gave a voice to my anger and all I've achieved by doing that is um, that I will never go back to that shop and I haven't achieved anything through it. So, um, those kind of things really, it's, it's useful if there's someone in your life who terrorizes you and who you really need to get rid of. But if it's just stupid things like that with me with the computer shop, I mean, that's just unnecessary drama and unpleasantness in your life. So if things like that happen to you, then rather than seeing red and freaking out and saying, well, where's my computer? Then... Try and just see it for it is. Remember this forecast, that thing, you may be a little bit more irritable than you usually would be and try and not sweat the small stuff so much. Try not to get so enraged and furious about the little details that seem a little bit off. Okay, so this week, focus on the bigger picture. Focus on your glorious future that you're moving into and all these little side problems that occur just you know be very snooty and just ignore them and just rise above it and don't let yourself fall into that trap of being enraged and angry and and just uh, f flipping out i mean we all do it but especially this week i'm telling you it doesn't serve you it won't serve you so that's what i get for you here um at the for this week if you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. If you like my videos and you'd like to support me, then please click on the subscribe button and I will speak to you next week.